feel like he's pooping, but it's fun. Today I'm competing against Zach Kornfeld in a dog grooming competition. What well, looks like she's got a little poop on her face. Why only Zach? Well, because normally Eugene and Ned win, so he sort of eliminated them from this video so it could be a real competition. Being wet's fine, it's fun. We all... Right. <laughs> Very intense. Neither of us like it. It's the battle of the losers. Who's the least worst? Least worst? <laughs> We're here at Vanderpump Dogs in West Hollywood, California to pit two cat lovers against each other in a puppy beautification competition. We call ourselves a rescue center. Most of them are from high kill shelters. A lot of the dogs come in really matted and they have fleas and ticks all over them. So we get them Vanderpuffed and ready to be adopted. Vanderpuffed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here today. I love the Real Housewives. I especially love Lisa Vanderpump and what she does for these shelter pups. Where is Lisa right now? I have no idea. Does she, is she here? Can she? No. <laughs> In the beginning, we will assess the pet. After that, we take them to the bath. We do ears, nails, brushing, teeth brushing, drying, and a nice little flare of fashion. We just want to show that all of these rescue dogs are just as beautiful as any dog you could pay thousands of dollars for. I am a cat person. I got a puppy pretty recently, but in general, I still think most dogs are annoying. I grew up with a lot, a lot, a lot of dogs, and I never groomed them because I didn't love them. <laughs> How are our contestants gonna do today? Probably really mediocre because it's Zach and Keith, but they're gonna give it our all on The Least Worst. Stay out of my way. I ain't here to make friends. I'm here to win. I'm gonna turn these wiener dogs into winner dogs. We're gonna find out who sucks the least at something they hate the most. And you, the fans, will decide who is the least worst. I'm gonna turn these K9s into K10s. Hi, Mopsy. I'm Zach. How are you? <laughs> Mopsy's fun. I, I will say the names are fun. Why am I gonna be better than Keith? What? I have a dog now, so I, I should be. I should be better. I hope I, it'd be pathetic if I was worse. It's gonna be pretty easy. I'm gonna beat Zach. Zach kind of sucks at everything. He's kind of known as the fuck up of the group. <laughs> he looks like a, an old banker. Hey, look, he's pooping. I like this dog because he's uh, transformable, you know? I feel like there's a real diamond in the rough. Wow. Oh, I like him. I like him because he's sad. <laughs> Kelly's being a real bitch right now. No, you can't just tap me and pretend that you've been innocent this whole time. His name is Blizzard. I, I'm warming to the idea of dogs. I think I'm gonna go with this dude, Phil. You know, he's a, he's a lot of energy. He seems like a challenge, and I'm up for it. Bow wow, bitches. There's a dog in the house. Time to pick a dog. Let's go. I want a dog that perpetually like rests and we just sort of eat bacon on the couch together. Bacon's very bad for dogs. Well, it's bad for people too. <laughs> this looks like a dog that my mother would fall in love with. What is the name? Lisa. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> this one's named Lisa Vanderbilt. <laughs> so she is here. I like this one's eyes. He's like got like just totally white eyes. So, ow, they're all just biting my hand. <laughs> Louise, who's five to six. So these, these are six year old ladies. She was also rescued from Mexico. <sighs> I love Mexico. I, I, all these little Mexican ladies just run around. I love it. Oh my gosh, your whiskers have stuff in them. Louise needs a make rover now. <laughs> Gentlemen, the time has come for the competition to begin. Are you ready? Let's get Vanderpuffed. Go! Puff, puff, puff. Where are you going? You have to go get your dogs. Oh. Go get your dogs. Oh, oh we're dogs. just checking out the sink. Go, go, we're checking go. out the sink. Go, go, go. Okay, so first step is to uh, uh, check them. Looks good. So we're checking for moles, lacerations, the texture of their coat, if there's any mats in particular. I am petting Louise and I am seeing some, what might just be poop on her face. We've all been there. So when you go to the shelter, the dogs are matted. They're full of fleas and ticks. I hate to say it, but when you look at dogs like that, most people don't want to adopt those dogs. Are you, am I doing that? <laughs> no, uh-oh, let's loosen. That's not me, that wasn't me. There's a little bit of a, Scab here? We're just checking to see the condition of the ears, if there's any infection, if it smells weird or different. Uh, she said something about smelling the ears. 
I have no frame of reference. The ears, can I see your little ears? Yeah, she's got them. Phil's a boy. Uh, he's, he's not been circumcised yet. Phil, are you Jewish? When my pup is finished, it's gonna give you pause. I'm gonna turn these K9s into K10s. So now I'm gonna clip the tether here, and we'll begin our bathing. We're gonna make sure our temperature is nice and warm. It's warming up. Okay, you wanna get warm, but not too warm. Oh! Yes. Watch your dog. Phil, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize. I was, I was playing to the camera and I wasn't paying attention to you. That's on me, it's a mistake that will not happen again. Back and forth, you wanna make sure that the coat is thoroughly saturated with water. Clean the butt, clean the little chest, clean the paws. You're, can I just spray her on the face? I know, Keith doesn't know what he's doing. Look, it's fine. Being wet's fine, it's fun. We all love it. <laughs> Felt a little death wish. Uh, maybe I need a hand? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, I hated baths as a kid too. So on the face, we're gonna be using a tearless shampoo and we're just gonna be massaging it around the face. Gotta get that poop out of there. Use your fingernails. Oh, in, in our face? He was so hyper, now he's so sad and quiet, and I just feel like I've broken the dog. To make sure that we're getting it all over the body. So, uh, I had to shampoo Bowie's anus a whole lot. How do you clean the butt? With your hands. Oh, come on Scrub now. It. Uh, you gotta shampoo the anus a lot. No, I'm not fingernailing the butt. <laughs> not a chance, I'm happy to lose the contest. I know that you do the butt last because you don't want the poo particles to spread all over the body. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Even though it's very clear to me that he's been laying in poo and I'm doing that exact thing right now. I express my own glands many times a day. <laughs> you gotta wash the hiney. I'm turning this. K9 into a K10. When I'm done with today's dog, it's gonna be one hot bitch. And we have a doggy toothpaste. Uh, it's a peanut butter flavored and in a circular motion. Ooh, well your breath tastes like a peanut butter dream, baby. Is it yummy? Oh, you're still farting. Yeah, have you ever tried this? Are you using the same one that was in the dog's mouth? Mmm. Try it. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Tastes like a, a thick teriyaki sauce. This is nothing like peanut butter. This is very mislabeled. <laughs> okay, and we're done. I'm taking her to the big air machine to dry her. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, so here we are in the dry bar. We're going to be using a velocity dryer to remove a lot of the excess water that's trapped in the coat. We also use a leave-in conditioner. Um, so this is a happy hoodie. What it does is it makes it not as loud and it kind of dries their hair at the same time. I'm gonna turn these K9s into K10s. Who looks like the most adorable little babushka woman? My landlord who invites me over for meatballs on Sunday. It looks like Rosie the River. Okay, last one. They're climbing up your window, they're snatching your people up. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife. Hot dog. I'm gonna turn these K9s. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I know. Look, it's fun. I'm trying, I'm just trying, I'm just doing what I can. It's very intense. Neither of us like it. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. We're done. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. It was just, she, we, it was a lot for us. Well, she didn't love it. I didn't love it either. This is a lot for Phil, he's a puppy. We're just gonna skip this step. I'm gonna take the L, that's on me, that's on me. We're just gonna put him in the box. We're gonna, we're gonna put her in a little, <laughs> what's going on here? Now that we've removed all of the excess water, we're gonna be putting her in a cage dryer. This looks real crazy, but it's totally normal. I actually, I probably could fit in there with you. And now, we set it and forget it. <laughs> 10 to 15 minutes for that Vanderpuff. Ooh, yeah, girl. The contestants today yeah. will be 
grooming the dogs, but they won't be cutting their hair. Yes, no, so since you guys are not licensed groomers, um, we're just gonna have you guys give them baths. Why can't, why can't we cut the hair though? Cause you're not, I don't, I think that you would make them look like crazy if you did. <laughs> hey, dry oh, pups. Yeah. Dry pups. Oh, Hi, my Keith. Sugar, how are you doing? Is this the Louise I've heard so much about? This is, can mm. you please get Bill's dirty snout off my sweet, sweet angel? Whoa. He's going down. Now it's time to brush her out. Brushing from the base of the neck down to the tail. Louise feels a lot softer. She feels like she's cleaner. She smells a little nicer. She's also sitting pretty. You know, that, that she's exuding confidence. When we are wiggling around to show that we're ready to party over here. Phil was freaking the fuck out. Did we really? Hello, Phil. 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 Hello, Phil. 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 I know you want to love me. This might be the hardest part for the guys to complete. Painting nails. Nail polish? We're doing podicures. I chose a nice um, light yellow because she reminds me of an old lady who would maybe like bring some flowers to the church on a Sunday just to help add to the decor. So I'm putting on her toes so she can spread the love. Um, there's a blue next to me. I'm going with blue. Let's do this. But you know what, Phil, you're gonna, you're gonna, look. Whoa, whoa, look at that snot that just came out of Phil. There's a honey dog. This is sabotage. Phil has just, has just literally sabotaged my dog. You know what, Phil, you know, you know. He may not have come here to make friends, and guess what, he didn't. And the final step is fashion flair. Is my little girl wearing a harness right now? Oh my goodness, Phil, look at you in this black leather collar. You're a bad boy. For my end look, Phil and I decided to go with a grunge rocker aesthetic. He looks like the lead singer of Yellow Card. He looks like he's ready to join the Black Parade. Look at this little guy. How much does he cost? Um, the sum is 41. He is a punk rock boy. And now, after all these steps, your dog's completely groomed. I thought I did a great job. I, I, I like to think that I won. I think Louise looked hot. I mean, I think it's obvious that Phil is the winner here. It's not between me and Keith, it's between the pups. And the results don't lie. Keith, Zach, nice try. But the audience is gonna decide who the winner is in the comments below. Are you team Louise? Are you team Phil? I think we're all winners today because we all learned a valuable thing about adopting from your local shelters and rescues. I thought the Vanderpumps were just hot people. Turns out they're crazy philanthropic because they're, there are dogs in here from all over the world. They're able to be glammed up, made sexy, and then find a home. Is it weird to call dogs sexy? Yeah. Yeah, it's all relative. It's all relative. I won. Keith was the winner. Keith rules. Keith's the best. Zach sucks. And it was easier to win without Nettery Jean here. <laughs>